All right, so here is breakfast. Um, we have, I had three hand-picked apples in the car. Um, I'm just showing you here from reference because I ate them in the car on the way home from work. I have a smoothie. This is at least smoothie number one. There's one cup of blueberries, a cup of mango, a cup of spinach, and we have four dates to make it extra sweet. Those dates are organic and they are ripe and delicious. Some bananas that aren't quite ripe, but that's all I have. Two bananas. And then I'm going to put about a, a fourth of a cup of this raw meal. It has a bunch of supplement, like a bunch of fruit, uh, vitamins and minerals, but just a little bit when I only use a quarter of a scoop. So it's like 10% or 15% of a lot of different things. So not too bad. I don't want to like, get too many supplements, but I like the way it tastes. It has a little bit of vitamin B12 in there too. So I use just a little tiny scoop of that. So that is breakfast. The smoothie was not enough, so I had some dried mulberries. Um, I like them because they don't have any fat. They fill me up pretty good. Um, I think this whole pack had 200 calories. There's just four servings. Dried mulberries. I love these. They kind of taste like granola. Natural granola. So, snack after smoothie. Mulberries. Alright, I will see you guys for lunch. Alright, it is lunchtime. So I'm having a giant salad. There is, these are organic greens. Oh, there goes my fork. Oops. Um, organic mixed greens. I don't know how much, like, oof, it is big though. I'm guessing at least six to eight cups, um, maybe more. I have some sprouts in there, um, a little bit of conventional um, dressing, but it's light and it's got no fructose corn syrup, a half a cup of black beans, half of a cup of corn, and some um, low-fat croutons, and this is my lunch, and there we go. So I was... Doing um, some adding to the chronometer because I'm documenting what I'm eating today. And even before I have dinner consumed, I pretty much have 100% of everything. Looking, I have 100% to 200% of almost all of my uh, proteins or amino acids. But there was one that I only have about 73% of my protein or percentage um, of. So far, and that is methanine, and I don't know if I am pronouncing that right. Where could I get this as a vegan? And while I was kind of doing some research, I actually came across this um, article in PubMed.government, and it's actually the title is, which is this is so interesting, um, the low methanine content of vegan diets may make methanine restriction feasible as a life extension strategy. I'm just going to read the abstract from it because I found this, I just came across this by chance, which I find it very fascinating. Recent studies confirm that dietary methanine restriction increases both mean and maximal lifespans in rats and mice, um, achieving a aging retardant effect very similar to those of calorie restriction, including a suppression of mitochondrial superoxidized generation. Although voluntary calorie restriction is never likely to gain much popularity as a pro-longevity strategy for humans, it may be more feasible to achieve a moderate methanine, methanine restriction in light of the fact that vegan diets tend to be relatively low in this amino acid Plant proteins, especially those derived from legumes or nuts, tend to be lower in methanine than animal proteins. Furthermore, the total protein content of vegan diets as a function of calorie content tend to be lower than that of omnivore diets. Um, whole food vegan diets that moderate bean and soy intake while including ample amounts of fruit can be quite low in methanine while supplying abundant nutrients for health, assuming you're taking a vitamin B12 supplement. So that is one thing because vitamin B12 isn't a supplement, it's actually um, in a bacteria, or bacterium. Furthermore, low-fat vegan diets coupled with exercise training can be expected to promote longevity. I just thought I would add that in there. So 
you know, you don't have to restrict your calories. It's not the calorie restriction that um, improves your longevity. It is the less protein that you're consuming. It just shows, here's another example of why this is the best lifestyle for humans. It's just that simple. All right, I will uh, talk to you guys for dinner. Bye. And here's what's left of the dinner. Okay, so a wrap up of yesterday. So for dinner, I kind of ate through dinner and didn't really videotape it, but I did end up having a bean burrito with a bunch of romaine lettuce and some homemade salsa and about five cut up potatoes into fries. And then I had a cup of honeydew melon for dinner. So that is how much food I had. In total, I had 3,500 or 3,050 calories. And the breakup of that is going to be 86% carbs, 9% protein, and 5% fat. I did end up getting 138% of my methanine or methanine, methonine. Um, so I did end up getting over 100% of it, but it's still... Uh, probably a lot less than if you were actually eating meat. I know it's going to be a lot less. So I mean, some of my proteins, I have 340% of what I need, 250%, 300%. Um, the lowest one is that one, and it's 138%. So I have well over 100% for all of my protein. 95% of my calcium, that's with absolutely no meat, no dairy, no fish, 200% of iron, Selenium, I only have 62%, so I might look into eating a little bit of a Brazil nut or see where else I can get selenium, but I think most people are a little more deficient or low in selenium. D is 50%, but again, I get my vitamin D from the sun. Um, B12 is 126%. So I am well over 100% for almost every single thing I can be. So my stats are really great. Up. I've had 3,000 calories. And it's that 80-10-10 breakdown is what I'm my goal is for the day. The main thing I want to get across here is that with this article, I will kind of leave, I'll, I'll cut and paste it into the description so that you can kind of take a look at it yourself. So you're going to live longer if you eat less of this protein. And I have um, also put up a previous article or video about how just consuming a lower protein diet in general will increase your life expectancy. Let's go look at it. So go ahead and check out my Well by Mal Facebook page and you can kind of see all the things that I've uploaded there if you're interested in more information. So that is my day and what I've eaten. I'll leave a picture of everything at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, stay tuned, like, and leave some comments below on what you think of everything that I've eaten today and this newfound research that I've come across about having low protein and increasing your life expectancy. And I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. Oh, and this is, if you're wondering why this wasn't in my video the other day, it's because I took it out of my pile. And you know what? I do really like it. It's not a staple. It's a little more um, out there, but it's a sleeveless thing, and I think it's going to be great when I move to Florida.